What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a problem called aggressive cows. So basically you are given a barn N and the stalls are located along a straight line of X1 to X of N. The cows don't like each other and they become aggressive to each other. And we want to assign the cows to the stalls such that the minimum distance between any of them is as large as possible. So what is the minimum distance? Okay, so to do this problem, uh, you first have to understand what the problem means. So let's actually just draw out the barns. So in this case, we had we had five stalls, and then we want to assign three cows. And let's label each of the stalls. So here we have one, two, um, one, two, four, eight, and nine. Okay, one, two, four, eight, and nine. So now we have five of these stalls, right? And basically, we want to place three cows such that the the uh, distance between any of them that we place is as large as, as possible and we want to find the smallest of those okay so um, in this case you would put one cow over here at one you put one cow here at four and you put one cow here at eight and if you were to subtract the distance between any of these this distance is actually three and this distance of four and eight is four right and the minimum distance of in this arrangement is three. So the answer here prints out three. So basically we want to assign the cows in each of these stalls such that we want the longest, uh, any two stalls has to be as large as possible, right? So between one and whatever stall you assign, you want to make them as lo uh, lo longest as possible, right? From here to, to here or here to here, which one it is, right? This distance has to be as long as possible for each of them. And then after that, we are going to find the minimum run one, right? So we're going to print out the minimum one. So in this case, the minimum one between all these is three. Okay. So in this case, that's what they did. Okay. So how do you do this problem? Um, this problem requires something called binary search. So what we're going to do is we are going to look at our test cases. So in our test case, um, the largest range is actually one trillion i think so one trillion so what we're going to do is we're going to have a number between one and one trillion okay um it's just uh, i don't i'm not counting how many zeros there are okay and then we're going we are going to guess into a midpoint so we're going to guess into the middle of this so this is going to be our guess okay this is going to be the middle okay so we're going to go to the middle and guess this number this number is probably five hundred thousand uh, let's let's just assume it's five hundred thousand for, for the sake of it. Okay. So we're going to guess 500,000. What we're going to do is we're going to go through all of our, all of the numbers of our stalls, right? And we're going to check, does this work, right? If it, if it, if it doesn't work, we're going to move our right range down to the middle again. So in this case, our range originally was one to one trillion. So if it doesn't work, we are going to move our range down to here and then guess the middle again. So we're going to have a middle here and then we would guess here if it doesn't work. Okay. If it does work, we are going to move our bottom range up. So if it does work, we're going to move this start range up and then guess that. Okay. So this is going to continue until our start and our end is uh, start is greater than or equal to n. So this is where is our start. This was our end. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So how do we check if the number that we're guessing works or not? Okay. So what we're going to do is that remember we want to assign three cows here or in whatever case it is C cows, right? So basically we're going to keep track of the count of our cows. So we have to count, we have to count our cows, right? The num the count of our cows. And we have to keep track of this. So if we're going to place a number, um, each time we have a cow, we're going to place it there, right? And see, uh, does this work? So if, if our guess is between, uh, is actually the right guess, right? So let's say this guess is between the right guess. We are going to increment our count because that means that we place a cow there, right? That means we place the cow there. And then um, in the end of the iteration, if our count is equal to, C, which is the number of cows that we have, then that's good. Okay, we're going to set our new answer to that, to that number, and then continue, right? Uh, if it's not, then we have to keep doing our guessing. So we have to keep guessing. 
here and here and here. Okay. So how, how do we keep track of the count uh, to count the number of cows replacing? each time. So here in this case, what we're going to do is we are going to subtract the difference difference between each of our the, the our stall number. So here we have one, two, four, eight, nine. So we're going to subtract the difference between two and one. So this difference is by one, right? And then now what we're going to do is we're going to check our guess. Does is the difference that we, we currently subtract is this less than or equal to the guess that we did, right? Because if it is less than or equal to it, then we're going to add one to the count. And then we move on to the next one. Then we move on to the next one. Uh, move on to the next one and then subtract the difference between this one. Right. And then we move on to the next one. Oh, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So like if this, uh, and the reason why this works is because if our guess is less than or equal to the difference. So like uh, this is the... Uh, that means that we guessed it correctly, right? If our guess is less than or equal to the difference, uh, if our difference is less than or equal to, uh, yeah, if, if our guess is less than or equal to the difference, then that means we guessed correctly. Because if it's too large, so like 500,000, this is too large in this difference of one, right? So then, then we have to move the range down, right? So yeah, that, that's what we do. That's pretty much the gist of this. Um, until we get to the end of our iteration, Right until we get to the end of this, um, yeah, then then that's when you keep going. Okay, uh, by the end of that, our start and mid, uh, our start and end is going to be placed at the right one, and then we will have the right count. We would have the right number to for our answer. Okay, so that's basically basically just of this problem. So I'm just going to explain the solution to this problem now. So here we read in the test cases t. Then we read in our number of stalls and our number of cows. Okay, so that's what this is doing. We are going to read in data, which is the stall number, right? For each stall number. So now we're going to read in the number of stalls, stall number. We're going to sort the stall number because the reason for that is because let's say the stall number is not the right order, then yeah, that's not going to help you. You want the stalls to be sorted. Okay. All right. So now we have a start, which is beginning. The range that we're going to guess and the end is going to be the final final range that we're looking for okay the final range that is the final range the final possible range okay now we have our answer and this is the answer is going to be the one that actually works um, this is a variable answer so while our start is less than or equal to end this is for binary search to work um we're going to the midpoint so we're going to add the end and start and divide by two and that's going to be our guess remember mid is going to be our guess we're going to check, does this work or not? Okay. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to keep track of the number that works, right? The number that, uh, how many times does this actually work for the stalls? So how, for each of these stalls, we have to keep track how many of these actually work. So in the end, our count, if it's equal, if it's, uh, actually equal to C, then that'll be the number of cows that we do. So this is actually how many cows you place that actually works, right? Okay. Previous is going to represent uh, the previous number that we are subtracting. So here in this case, we have one and two, right? Uh, previous would point to here, and this is going to be our current subtraction. So if this works, then we're going to move our previous to this part. And then our subtraction, our next uh, number is going to be here, right? And then we subtract. So if, if previous works, if this previous works, right? Uh, so if this guess actually worked, then we're going to move to the next number to subtract. And then the current number here, we're going to subtract it and see if this works. So that's what this previous is supposed to for. Okay. So now we're going to loop from one to N. So we're looping now from one to N, which is going to represent the stalls that we're looping through. So all the, each of these stalls. So we're looping through that. Now we are going to check is our guess. Remember mid is our guess, right? Is it less than or equal to the difference between the current number and the previous number? Right, because if it is equal to this uh, the difference, then we're going to increase the number that works. Right, so that's the number of times that it actually works for it. Because we want we want it to work for all of these. Right, we want it to work for C of these cows. Right, so that's why we do that. Okay, so that's going to be our like our count. So there's a number of works. How many of these actually work? So yeah, increase that. Then we are going to move our previous to equal to the current value. So that's going to move the previous. Uh, yeah, so that's going to move. So originally, uh, 
previous was he, uh, here, right? So if let's say this 500,000 actually did work, which it, it doesn't work, right? Because it's too large than the difference. But let's say it is, it does work, right? If the difference is right. Then what we do is we're gonna move our previous to here. And then we're gonna move our the next number that we're gonna subtract four from two to go on to the next one. So that's what this is doing, okay? Okay, so that keep counts how many, this loop counts how many that works or not. Okay, so by the end, if the number that works is less than C, the cows that we're placing, um, then we, that means we didn't guess right. So we're good, that, that moves, that's what that's gonna mean is that this, uh, our guess number of 500,000 is too large. So we're gonna move our end down, right? Our end is now going to be not be gonna be this end. We're gonna move our end to equal our mid middle. So that's gonna move here. So then that moves the range down to start and end. So that's what th that does. So then now you pick the middle point of this. So we're gonna keep picking the middle point over and over. So that's what this is doing. Okay, so now otherwise, um, so if our number works actually does work, so let's say it equals to C or it's greater than or equal to C, which is not possible, but let's say it is greater, uh, greater than or equal to C, right? That means we could place that number of cows into the stalls, right? If that's a number that actually works. Then we're going to set our answer to equal to the middle, which is the guess that we did, right? The our answer is going to equal the middle. And then we're going to move our start up. So that's going to move the start. Of this start is going to move up. So our start at that point, the start. So let's say it works. So our start was here and this was our end. And this was like one and then, I don't know, 100,000, right? Um, so let's say that, let's say, let's say it actually worked. So let's say, let's say this 500,000 worked. Well, if 500,000 worked, we also want to, we want to get the, we want to get to the best possible value that does work, right? So it, this could work, but we want the best one. So that's where we set our answer to the, or the guess that we did. And then we're going to move our start upwards. So this start is actually going to move upwards to 500,000. And then we'll see, can we do it first from start to end of here, right? So for 100,000 and here, yeah. See if it works. Uh, these numbers, I didn't add enough zeros, but I, I don't know. I don't I don't know the difference between that, but yeah. Then um, then we move our start up and then our answer, reason for this is because we want the largest minimum distance, right? So that's why we do that. Okay, um, yeah, move the start up. And then at the end of this search, sooner or later, this search is not going, is uh, at the end of our binary search, it's gonna end. And then we just print out answer. So that's basically how you do this question. Hope you guys understand the problem. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.